In the previous uh, video we discussed the poem The Guy in the Glass and I said at the end of that video that there would be a, another really good poem to look at uh, due to its similar theme message and that is this one uh, entitled Myself uh, written by Edgar A. Guest. Just a little bit about uh, the poet. He was uh, born in England uh, but in, moved to the United States with his parents at the age of 10. Uh, so he stayed there for the rest of his life so he was an American poet. Uh, published his first poem at the age of 17. Uh, it is said that he wrote around 11,000 poems, uh, which is an incredible number. Um, you know, he was very popular during the early 20th century. Uh, a lot of critics kind of uh, looked, f you know, frowned upon his work. They uh, were very critical. Um, the Americans loved him, um, obviously because he was American. Uh, he was very optimistic. He often wrote about poems, uh, about beating the odds and, and not giving up and things like that. He was born in 1881 and di died during the 1950s. Um, and this poem here, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the poem first and then we will look at the poem. But it's really not a difficult poem to understand, uh, less really to talk about than the guy in the glass. Very similar message, a very good message. Um, and certainly one that is applicable still to this day. All right, so it says, I have to live with myself, and so I want to be fit for myself to know. I want to be able, as days go by, always to look myself straight in the eye. I don't want to stand with the setting sun and hate myself for the things I have done. I don't want to keep on the closet shelf a lot of secrets about myself and fool myself as I come and go into thinking no one else will ever know the kind of person I really am. I don't want to dress up myself in sham. I want to go out with my head erect. I want to deserve all men's respect. But hearing the struggle for fame and wealth, I want to be able to like myself. I don't want to look at myself and know I am bluster and bluff and empty show. I never can hide myself from me. I see what others may never see. I know what others may never know. I can, never can fool myself, and so, whatever happens, I want to be self-respecting and conscious-free. All right, very nice poem. So let's have a little bit of a closer look. Um, as I said, born in 1881, died in 1959. And I put there in Jarment. If you remember, in Jarment are run-on lines. So why are they run-on lines? Well, if we look at the first two lines, for example, we can see that this is one sentence in the fact that there's a full stop there. And there's no punctuation over there. So we can say, I have to live with myself and so I want to be fit for myself to know. All one sentence. This runs on to that. So we call that run on lines. That's enjoyment. Make sure you know how to spell it. Okay, don't worry about that just yet. Okay, I have to live with myself. Okay, you can't escape yourself. Okay, and so therefore I want to be fit for myself to know. I want to be able, as days go by, always to look myself straight in the eye. Very similar to what we saw in the guy in the glass, looking yourself in the mirror, looking yourself in the eye. In other words, to be honest with yourself. Um, in other words, if I look at myself and I say, listen, do I, am I happy with who I am? Am I happy with what I've done? Am I happy with what I stand for? I don't want to stand with the setting sun and hate myself for the things I've done. The setting sun, a euphemism for the end of your life. So you're really old and you're reflecting back on your life. You don't want to have regrets. You don't want to hate yourself. You want to look back and say, you know, I gave it my best shot. I've done a lot of good things in this life. I'm happy with what I've done. Remember a euphemism, figure of speech for saying something unpleasant in a nicer way. Now I've also put you a rhyming couplets, that's the rhyme scheme, because so and no rhyme, so we both put an A there, and then by and I rhyme, so we put a B there, and then sun and done rhymes, we put a C there. So they're like little couples, okay, they two lines rhyming right next to each other, we call that rhyming couplets. Alright, so that's the first stanza. Second stanza, I don't want to keep on a closet shelf a lot of secrets about myself. Okay, there's a phrase called having skeletons in the closet. It means that you have baggage, things that you've done that you'd rather people not know about. Um, so maybe that's a, an allusion there to closet. But what he's saying is I don't want to have done things uh, that, I, that I'm not happy about or that I regret and I don't want people to know about them. 
okay, and fool myself as I come and go into thinking no one else will ever know the kind of person I really am. You mustn't uh, pretend to be somebody that you're not. Uh, put on this facade of this is who I am, but it's actually not you. That's hypocritical. You say one thing and you do the other. I don't want to do that. Just notice before we uh, ignore that, um, before we move on, notice here how we have I and I and I, which shows that it is first person from the speaker's point of view. Whereas if we look at the guy in the glass, which we did, um, you can see we have you here, you yourself. So that is second person narration. All right, coming, wondering about what this pretense fake is. It says here, I don't want to dress up myself in sham. Sham refers to false. Okay, a lie, fake. Again, be true to yourself. Be true to who you are. Don't pretend to be somebody that you're not. I want to go out with my head erect. I want to go, you know, with your head held high, they say. If you feel proud of yourself, you have self-respect, you have dignity, you have good morals, you have good values, you are proud of who you are and what you do. I want to deserve all men's respect. But here in the struggle for fame and wealth, I want to be able to like myself. And I've written here, how do you gain respect from everybody? By doing what is right and just. Okay and not uh, doing immoral things, or, or doing um, illegal things, or being false. Okay, or, n you know, there's another system of thinking where uh, it is a form of hypocrit hypocriticism, uh, where you only do what's right when you're on show, but when you're not on show, then you don't. That's not what it's about. Um, so, in other words, how do you get men's respect? People respect you because of who you are, because of your character, because of doing the right thing, because of having a sound morals and values. I don't want to look at myself and know I am bluster and bluff and empty show. Bluster refers to uh, you say a lot but you mean nothing. People who go bombastic or aggressive, you know, they shout out all the odds and all that. And, uh, you know, they it's almost like that idiom about the dog's bite is... Uh, is not as uh, loud as bark you know the bark is worse than the bite kind of thing you know they they say that they're going to do this and do that but they don't actually do anything they all talk and no action and we have a lot of people in this world who talk a lot but they don't necessarily actually do anything um, we've got a little bit of alliteration there with a B sound bluster and bluff bluff uh, means false uh, there's a game called Blind Man's Bluff, but anyway, getting off topic now. Uh, if you're a bluff and empty show, it means you're a liar, you're a phony. I never can hide myself from me. Okay, so yes, you can't hide from yourself. I have to live with myself. Yeah, so you can't hide from myself. I see what others may never see. I know things about me that other people may never know unless I tell them. You don't want to live with terrible things like that as much as possible I see what others may never see I know what others may never know okay so you know what you've done and you can't hide from that you cannot lie to yourself I never can fool myself never that's a strong word never ever you can't run away from yourself I never can fool myself and so whatever happens I want to be self-respecting and conscious free self-respect to have pride in yourself to be happy with yourself, to know that you do right, to know that you're a good person, and to be conscious free. I've written here a moral sense of what is right and wrong. Um, if you have a conscience, it means that you know if something is right or wrong. Um, and to have be conscious free means to be free of guilt. You don't want to have this burden on your conscience, knowing that, oh, you've done wrong, or, oh, you have all these regrets. All right. And that is really... Um, that is the poem. There's not much to it. Um, I think the main thing is that you understand uh, what the message is about that you can't hide from yourself and you must be true to yourself and you can't lie to yourself and uh, you must always try and gain people's uh, respect and that happens naturally by just doing the right thing. Um, and yes, you, you must be proud of yourself and you must be able to sleep at night and look at yourself in the glass or the mirror, as we saw in the previous poem, and uh, feel good about yourself. Have that self-respect. Um, just a recap, enjoyment, the run-on lines and the rhyming couplets because the two lines 
rhyming next to each other. Other than that, um, that really is the poem. And as you can see, that goes very nicely with uh, the guy in the glass as well. Really similar message. Um, and so they go very well together.